Show the people what you do, I do, what you eat, I eat, kid. Maybe I'm overreacting. I actually went there. Like, I, maybe I shouldn't do nothing. But my ghetto side was going, yo, stomp this motherfucker out right here. The fuck is wrong with him? It sounds easy, son. It's good. You ain't special. Worry about you okay, don't worry. You need to. You don't need to worry. You need to be terrified. I'm gonna send your ass home, son. Well, Matter of fact, get your bags packed right now. Yeah, shit. Pack your bags, <laughs> homie. Pack your bags, homie. What you wanna do right now? You going home. You going home. You ain't send nobody home. You going home, I promise son. you ain't send nobody you going home. home, son. I promise you ain't send nobody home. You going home, son. Don't you promise me. Nobody. You, know, you going promise. home, son. I ain't worried about you, you baby. Home, I ain't worried about you. You going home, son. I ain't worried about you. I ain't worried about you, You need to be terrified, I don't be terrified of you. What makes you think you can beat me, yo? You can't beat me. I was really amused by how it escalated so fast. You see Jay Don start, you can't beat me. You know, I'm like, damn, this guy's Al Cappuccino, so I don't really think he thought he was. That Rockman has oh. his camera. Now it's time for him to take the risk and quit hiding behind little stuff, okay? Amir took the risk. Why is it important for you guys that Canelo takes that risk against Triple G? It seems personal. Because he set the tone. Amir set the tone. Fighters should fight each other. We're taking the tone. He took the risk. He did it. He got to quit hiding behind the flag and fight Triple G. This is a message for Vladimir Klitschko. He recently said, I'm like Hitler, in uh, the articles in the newspapers. Vladimir obviously has no education on the matter, and he doesn't realize that uh, Hitler killed hundreds of thousands of gypsies, if not millions. And to call me that, uh, Vladimir, is a very, very, very bad insult, friend. A lot of my ancestors were killed and murdered and brutally mass murdered by Hitler. For you to call me that is a very bad insult. And let's not forget that your people, the Ukrainians, were the guards of the death camps where my people were slaughtered. So if you really want to go into it, we both can play silly cunts, can't we? You stupid fucking Ukrainian prick. Nikitin has taken it on a unanimous points decision. And Michael Conlon of Ireland is distraught in there. And this year, this year to win Olympic gold. My dream's been shattered now. But you know what? I have a big career ahead of me. And these ones, they're known for being cheats. And they'll always be cheats. How much of boxing stinks from the core right there at the top. I think it, no, I don't think it is that. I think you should fight the same dirty style you always Absolutely, do what you're comfortable with, right? Right. And uh, here's the first instance, and as Sam Colonna, the trainer for Andrew Ganata, comes into the ring, Norman Stone <laughs> runs all the way across the ring, puts his hand on Colonna's deck, and pushes it. There's Stoney. <laughs> Nobody in the sport more aggressively Bloody, protects their on. fighter or thinks they aggressively protect their fighter like Stop. Norman Stone. You gotta love Norman. Yeah, except his record is only the one because of hanging his hip with the elbows. Hey, rest! Rest! Okay? I mean, they're knocked down. You get knocked down by it. One more time, you're up. You're not doing your job. You're not doing your job. Randy Norman has told Stone one more outburst like that, you're out of here. Hit the streets, baby. Come on, come on, come on. I the shouldn't stop. What is the referee shit. supposed to do for the fighter? No excuse me, you look like shit. <laughs> Fucking jerk off. <laughs> That's our Stoney. He's, he's ordering Stone out of the corner. Oh, 
Harold Letterman, our in-house historian, is saying that this is unprecedented in his view. He does not remember a trainer ever being thrown out of a corner. I'll sue you for every fucking thing you got, you fucking. What a class act. And so now John Ruiz will go the rest of the way, apparently, without his trainer in his corner. I'm showing him every fucking thing he's got. Everything. What did I say to him? I didn't say a word to him. Keep walking, please. I won't put your fucking... I'm not putting my hands up, please. He's saying that this is a fucking quick fight, but... Let's go, let's go, please. Im Grunde genauso wie John Ruiz, nicht gerade der große Talker. Auch auf ihn würde The Quiet Man passen. Was ist da jetzt los? Norman Stone tickt aus, der ist schon mal aus dem Madison Square Garden geflogen. Beim Kampf gegen Golota. Er hat den Gürtel, er hat sich den Gürtel genommen und hält ihn hoch. Oh, jetzt kommt Akku Silvecke dazu, was ist denn jetzt los? Jetzt geht es da ab, im Ring meine Güte. Riesenaufregung, die Security ist mit drin. Akku Silvecke in der Ecke, ja immer. Mein Sauerlandstein. Norman Stone berüchtigt auch in den USA, wenn man ihn privat spricht, ein netter Typ, aber heute flippt er aus. You call me who professional. You don't know what the hell's been going on. I, 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 I didn't know. What, 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 do, what do your research then before you open your mouth up? Here, here's, here's, here's the great Zab Judah. Here's yeah. the great Zab. There you go. Thank you. And I thank you for that. First of all, you got how you guys score? You got ringside. Harold Letterman had it seven rounds to five. I thought that was about right, but I thought it was competitive. Seven five me, right? Yes, Harold did have that. Thank you, man. At least some people got the score right. Listen, I don't know why Houston is booing me. You guys are a great fight town, man. I didn't have nothing wrong, nothing against Houston, man. It's a great fight town. You guys were a loud crowd. It ain't nothing against you guys, man. But I had to deal with a lot of politics, man. That was ridiculous. I knew I was going to have to deal with this. You know, you got guys like Raul Caiz. That's Golden Boy's go for. I said it before, and, and he was. And he actually had the closest scorecard, man. I'm telling you, this state never gives a fair shake to anybody coming to this state to fight hometown fighters. It never happens. You know I ain't getting a rematch, man. This is boxing. Boxing is full of shit, man. I used to love Assuming. This I used to love this sport, man. I cannot stand doing this. The only reason I do this is because it gives me a good payday. Boxing is full of shit. Paulie, assuming fight. you don't get the rematch. Listen, anything that comes my way. I mean, I'm just an opponent after losing the fight. One can go call out the winner of Marquez and Mayweather or the winner of another big fight. I don't have that luxury because I got robbed, so I'm on the short end of the stick. So I got to sit back and hope I get used as an opponent in somebody's hometown again. This is the bullshit I got to go through. 118-110 is Gail Van Hoy was digging it to me. You know what I'm saying? Excuse my French, okay? But he banged me all in fuck, okay? Because I said, I said before the fight, that this guy does, does not ever, ever go against a Texas fighter in, in, in the state of Texas. Never, ever, ever. And he knew I was complaining about it. And what did he do? He did it to me on purpose. Because there's no way anybody won that fight 118-110. Gail Van Hoy just filled out his score card on purpose. He said, let me fuck Paul in my logic because he talks shit. And, and, and I'm going to this score card, right? In boxing, that's why this sport has no popularity left. Nobody watches this shit because every year there's decisions like this, and probably even worse than this. This is even worse than this, and people get fucked constantly. You know what I'm saying? And, and nobody watches boxing anymore because of shit like this. You know what I mean? right in the eyes and I said Andrew if you hit him low one more time it's over do you understand that and he said yes I do walked out there hit him low that was another low blow yeah, down that's goes it. Bone. That's, that's it, it. That's, that's it great. it's a disqualification that's, it's time for someone to understand that you're going to have to keep the rules in this business and now there's a fight in the ring that's been started by some of the
Bose handlers who went after Lou Duva and somebody's gonna get hurt in there. I remember a guy from Bose camp jumping into the mix and started to tomahawk Galata. That wasn't going in there to hit Galat until I felt like I was assault. And there are more people trying to go in. And so don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. They'll stop it. Don't come. Huh, get back, go back where you'll see the top. Get them back there. My microphone got knocked off my head. Don't do it, son. Don't do There's that. There's danger all over the place here. This is a very desperate situation. Lou Duva's in trouble. Lou Duva's in trouble on the ring mat. The violence in the garden was spreading. George Foreman trying to be the peacemaker. What are you doing? What are you doing, guys? What are you going to accomplish in there? I don't know if it was racial, but it felt sort of tribal. It felt like what I imagine a soccer riot could be like. People were getting hit over the head with chairs. People were getting stomped on. It's flaring up again now behind us. Another riot. Guys jumping and over chairs. these riots and fights are breaking out at ringside. At that point I realized, well, if I stay here, I'm not gonna be able to report much longer because this whole setup is bound to come apart. And I just dumped off my headset and yeah. ran up one section in Madison Square Gardens to deliver a little bit broader perspective on what was going on. And I've never been involved in a more personally terrifying situation than that one. This ring has been stormed by thugs and hooligans. Obviously, emotions were flowing high on both sides. You expect that in a matter of a minute or two, the powers that be are going to get it organized and cleared up. Well, there were no powers that be, were there? In the beginning, there was no security at all. There was a couple of guys in their 60s trying to stop guys in their 20s. In all, 22 people were injured and 14 arrests were made. I was in the middle of being investigated for a police department. You know, when I got back, my investigator called me and said, eh, Jason, eh, sorry. Boxing fans, if you don't think tomorrow night is going to be exciting, just take a look at this weigh-in right here. All right, that's about it. That's about it. That's about it. Shit. 
You couldn't fight worse shit. Don't whoop me, motherfucker. You wasn't never on a motherfucking cab driver. You'll get your ass whooped. You wasn't never on a motherfucking cab driver. Hey, motherfucking nigga, you ain't got Let me go. I don't even know why you got that motherfucker as your trainer. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. You wasn't shit at the fight, so how you gonna be something at the trainer? You wasn't shit at the motherfucking fight. Hey, go ahead, go on, go on, go on. Get the fuck out of my gym. Faggot. Go on, go on, go on. 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 Go on, go on, Roger Mayweather, Roger Mayweather made the Mayweather name. Roger Mayweather made the na Mayweather name and I took it to the next level. Cause when it's all said and done, there's only two motherfucking Mayweathers that count. Roger Mayweather and, and Floyd Mayweather. And motherfucker, I'm not no junior. C is A, B, C, simple as one, two, three. Get down with you, GK, pimp CB, you with B. Cause what's a hoe with no pimp? And what's a pimp with no hoes? Don't be a lame, you know the game and how it goes. We try to get chose. I was really amused by how it escalated so fast. You see Jay Don start, you can't beat me. You know, I'm like, damn, this guy's Al Cappuccino, so I don't really think he thought he was. You going home, son? I ain't worried about you, you baby. Home, son. I ain't worried about you. You going you. home, son? I ain't worried about you. you I ain't worried about you. You be terrified. I don't be terrified of you. Don't you think you can beat me, yo? You can't beat me. You don't even want to beat me. You can't beat me. It sounds easy, son. It's good. You ain't worried about you, neither. Okay, don't worry. You need to. You don't need to be worried. You need to be terrified. I'm gonna send your ass home, son. Matter of fact, get your bags packed right now. Pack your bags, homie. Pack your bags, homeboy. What you wanna do right now? You, going home. you, going you home, ain't sending nobody home. You going home, I promise son. you ain't sending nobody. Maybe I'm overreacting. I actually went there. Like, I, maybe I shouldn't do nothing. But my ghetto side was going, yo, stomp this motherfucker out right here. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with him? <laughs>